looks like a fucking mess. Precious moments. We gotta get these precious moments on film. Oh my gosh, Mr. Baby. Ah! Okay, Leo, Leo, how did you get in to my bedroom? Because as you see my bedroom door right there. What is that? Oh, it's a shoelace. <laughs> He opened my door all by him. Leo, this is the that's the face of a mischievous Mitch, of boy who opens the door by himself. How did you get in here? Because the door was closed shut. But you opened it all by yourself. Oh my god, I can't do it growing up. My boy's growing up and he's opened the door all by himself. Leo, I turned the camera off. You I, I, I promise I'm not recording. I'm not filming. Where were you January 6, 2021? My pronouns are kiss my ass! Well, Ouch. people said that I couldn't, and I did it. I did. I said I did. Did I say I didn't? I think I said I didn't. <laughs> people said I couldn't, and I didn't. Um. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Yeah. Oh, is it eagle? A hawk. There you go. Big guy. I cannot believe how beautiful it is today, though. I think it might be because. I just haven't been outside in a long time. <laughs> this is crazy what's going, like that's real, like look how beautiful, like look at the beautiful, this is, this looks like a green screen. I kind of want to go swimming. Last night, Leo ate the Fortnite burger. He, um, he ate an entire burger. He stole it. Just took it right off the table and said, this is mine. Actually, actually do you know what? This, this burger, you're, oh, no, that's actually mine. But he's never done anything like that before. He was clearly very remorseful, so it's okay. It's nighttime now, <laughs> if, if you can't tell. And I have this hat on because my hair is very greasy. I showered and I should have washed my hair. Oh. Diva. No, he just wanted to rub his- Leo! He almost knocked my fucking plan over. This is a troublemaker. He was rubbing his face on the carpet. Mmm. Thumbnail. <laughs> it's Monday night, and I went for that hike because today was like, spring is- spring is almost here. Today we had a taste of spring. The sun was shining. It was relatively warm. That water, I believe it is glacier fed. So yes, if you are wondering, it, it was pretty cold. But I'm just like that bitch. <laughs> you can't like, to stop playing with me because like, but the rest of the day I just spent doing, I don't, I've had one of those days where I just have no clue what I did or how time passed. It's eight o'clock at night. It's, I feel like it should be like four. I think maybe it's daylight savings. Yesterday was daylight savings, so I'm a bit like frazzled. But for the rest of the week, it is supposedly supposed to be raining and pretty gloomy. And then this weekend is actually supposed to be sunny and apparently 20 degrees, which is fucking crazy. That feels wrong. Like, that feels like an issue. <laughs> that feels like an issue perpetrated by ExxonMobil, but, um, 
I'm not complaining. But for the past couple of months, I haven't been reading, like, at all, which is very unlike me. Reading just hasn't really felt good, and I think- I know- I think I know that- uh... I've been doing a lot of something, because I've been depressed. <laughs> that I think has caused me to just not really enjoy reading as much anymore. So I've stopped doing that. Some of you will know what it is. And if you don't, you're gonna have to go through all my videos <laughs> and figure it out. Smoke weed every day. Um, but I've definitely been dealing with a lot of brain fog and having a hard time focusing, which is, I, I, I guess, why I haven't been reading. And I'd like to change that this week. As I said, it's supposed to be rainy, so I'm gonna be spending a lot of time inside. So I'd love to rebuild that habit. I think that tonight I have two books that I'd like to start. The first is a collection of poems, Bright Dead Things by Ada Lamont. I read one of her poetry collections a while ago called The Carrying, which I thought was really good. And then I also have Jillian by Halle Butler, which is a comedy. I picked these because I think they're going to be very just enjoyable and easy to read, which is the main factor last week. If you haven't watched my American Psycho video, please go watch it. <laughs> and watch all the ads because that video I rushed to edit because I wanted to upload it on Sunday, which for me right now was yesterday. See, this- I don't know what day it is. And I had so much footage that I was unable to import all of it onto my computer. So Friday, I had to go to the mall and get a new computer, which I need to show you. It's the funniest thing on earth. All right, look at this, okay? Normal MacBook, as you see. Are you- you're not ready, because... Maybe it's not reading on camera. <laughs> This is the thickest computer of my life. Like, I thought they were supposed to be getting thinner. Like, wasn't that like the only... I feel like once Steve Jobs died, every time there was a new device, the only perk that Apple would say is like, Oh, it's thinner. It's thinner and it's lighter. What? It's th Guys, this is just like the last one, but it's thinner and it's lighter. But I guess since this has one terabyte of storage, it's got to be thick. And I was this close. I was planning on getting the one with two terabytes, but it would have been a custom order and it would have taken until April to get. I can't even imagine what the MacBook with two terabytes of storage looks like. It's got to be like a fucking building. But yeah, I plan on having a very chill week, but also productive and really fun and exciting. So. Mm-hmm. Oh, Baba. <laughs> Did I pet you? Is that a vibe or no? Oh! <laughs> something wrong with me. I think I might be dying. I think this is the first time I am speaking to you today. Uh, oi, 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 oi. <laughs> Do you know that midday tired you get? I've had that all day. Like my body has just been covered by this lethargic exhaustion and I've been trying to do things to remedy that but it just nothing's working and I've just decided to accept my fate. <laughs> it was raining for most of the day so I spent it in bed reading. I got like halfway through Jillian and it's really good. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> no. It reminds me a lot of April and Leslie Nope from Parks and Rec. It's about, okay, nah, I don't think I've said what it's about. So it's about April, no, not April. <laughs> it's about Megan and Jillian and they work as like receptionists in a gastroenterologist's office. <laughs> so all day they're just looking and filing pictures of uh, people's dirty, gross colons, which is, Awful. But Megan is like a 24 year old girl, extremely cynical, doesn't really have any ambitions. She is becoming an alcoholic if she is not already <laughs> and is not happy with her life in the slightest. Understandably, but it also feels like she's dug herself into this hole so deep that she's kind of just resigned to her fate and doesn't seem to care about the rest of her life. As I said, she is extremely cynical, which I think is super interesting because it is the reality of, I'd say like most people. I think that if like I read it three years ago, I wouldn't be able to get through it because I was in that position too of being like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with my life? But now I'm doing like 
the thing that I, I love the most. And I'm literally the luckiest boy in the freaking world. But then there's Jillian, who is a bit older than Megan. And she is like overtly positive, largely because of her religion, she is Christian. Even though she's kind of living like a very similar life to Megan, I feel like positivity can be overt and that positivity can go into negativity. And it's very obvious that she's like masking her sorrow through this overt positivity and uh, religion. But Jillian and Megan are both receptionists at this office and Megan is just like a spiteful asshole, which I get it. Like, I think that especially if you're depressed the way that she is, being around somebody like Jillian is exhausting. So Megan fucking hates Jillian. <laughs> but we're starting to see the cracks in this already established fragile veneer and she's starting to act out and it's very fun. Like, it's very entertaining to watch this woman slowly degrade into reality, I think. I mean, her situation is, it's not good. But earlier today, around like 2.33, the sun came out and it stopped raining, which apparently, I checked the forecast. I was, I wasn't wrong. I wasn't wrong. The forecast was wrong. And it said it was gonna rain all week. No, it's supposed to be sunny. <laughs> so I tried to go for a run, but that's, um, pretty shitty. I just haven't ran in a while and it, it didn't go very well. <laughs> But um, I came home to some packages. Actually, I'm gonna open those tomorrow. <laughs> I wanna go to bed. <laughs> it's only 7.30, but I'm, I'm, I'm just kinda done. I'm gonna go to bed early and hopefully wake up tomorrow early. I'm praying to have a better day. I've just been, like, I don't know what it was. It's like, I've just felt like, it's the moon. I've decided recently to start using a new avoidance tactic and to start blaming all of my problems on the moon. I have no clue what the moon actually looks like. I haven't seen it, but Thanks, Hogarth. Hogarth books. James. <laughs> okay, that did nothing. That muffled nothing. I guess I'm supposed to have it like on the bed and bend over, but I'm not fucking bending over. I'm not bending over for nothing. You're zoomed in. Why are you zoomed? <gasps> I woke up this morning with a vengeance. Mad as hell. I gotta get out of here. But I gotta do this first because I haven't. I didn't speak to you once yesterday because I was just exhausted as hell. 
for no reason. I don't do shit. Like there's no reason for me to be as exhausted as I was. I don't know what has come over me. Am I sick? Maybe. Help me, please. Anyways, <laughs> yesterday I didn't say anything to you once at all because I just kind of accepted uh, the silence, that I was uh, serving silence all day and I, I just decided to go with it. Did I just say I was serving silence? What the hell? What the fuck does that even mean? I'm, if there's a lot of back, there's a Roomba going on. I don't know what the f*** is going on around here, but it's starting to piss me off. It's like, I need to get out of this house and that Roomba needs to shut the f*** up or I will blow this place up with my bomb. Yesterday felt like I had worked a fucking 16 hour shift on the North Sea. Whoa. I'm trying, isn't that trend over? I don't know. I don't fucking know. These micro trends on TikTok, I'm not on TikTok, so I have no fuck. Like, it comes to me through Instagram Reels and mm -hmm. YouTube Shorts. Mm -hmm. So I get these trends like three years after they were on TikTok. But yeah, I was just exhausted all day yesterday and I didn't say anything to you because I was also just in a foul f <laughs> mood. But today I woke up feeling much better, but this always f happens. I'm, I'm just not a morning person. I, I woke up, I, I woke up, okay, I got up this morning, the sun was shining, I walked outside, he's like, oh, I gotta go look at the sun. Who is it? Daniel Huberman? That's not his f name. Heber who? He always says that you should go outside in the morning and just stare directly into the sun. I'm pretty sure that might be misinformation and I'm just putting words in his mouth. Actually, I think I heard that from Katya Zamolochikova, so that's a drag queen. I did that and I walk outside, immediately was just engulfed by the morning air and I almost threw up. It felt like I was like waiting for the bus in seventh grade again. I, I don't even want, like it was awful. And that was at like 8 a.m. It is almost noon. It is five to noon. And I've been trying all morning to work out because if you watched my last video, I already told you in this video, go fucking watch that shit. Okay, because I had to buy a new fucking computer. I also spent $100 on that fucking video with skincare bullshit. If you don't watch it, I'm gonna kill myself. I'm just kidding, of course. I said at the end of that video that I wanted to start working out in the morning, like five days a week. I haven't, you've seen, I haven't worked out once in this video. Have I? I don't. I don't remember. <laughs> After like, what, four, four, three hours, I just went down, I just got into my workout gear. You need to leave. And I went downstairs and started trying to set up my little area. I got my mat out and I said, do you know what? This is worse than the morning air. I feel good though. Like I feel good about my life and stuff. Uh, I'm just being over dramatic and a big <laughs> bitch honestly, and uh, I think that we should celebrate that, actually. Okay. Last night, though, I finished Jillian by Halle Butler. I thought that it was great up until the end. The ending sucked balls. <laughs> I thought that it was fun. Um, again, like, the Leslie Nope April dynamic was, like, so strong and so much fun, and I, l I just... It was fun. Mm, I will say, it was quite sad. At moments, this would just be like so devastatingly sad and awful and strike a chord within that was like, okay, so I relate. I relate to this poor, awful, horrible woman's life. But what I'm thinking is today, we're gonna do some retail therapy. <laughs> Cause spending money always, it, that <laughs> Roomba's coming down the hall. I'm gonna be dead for the shop. Seriously. I gotta go to the mall. I wanna get a workout. Like, if you watched my American Psycho video, I get another plug. <laughs> you would know that somebody drove their car into uh, my local Lululemon after I had ordered uh, a yoga mat. I think she might be coming back for seconds. So I wanna go to the mall, go to Lululemon, get a working out mat because maybe that will motivate me to actually do that. There also was a vintage store that opened near me recently that I wanna check out. I cleaned out my closet. In like every area in my life, I'm just trying to optimize, optimize everything. I'm trying to adultify, <laughs> hashtag adulting. <laughs> And that definitely includes my wardrobe. I had so much clothes that did not fit. 
that I didn't like. <laughs> so everything that I just didn't really like love or especially didn't fit me. I believe this vintage store buys clothing and there definitely is a few things that I'm gonna try to sell them. Let me show you my closet though because I think I did a really good job. I'm not gonna fucking lie. Check out this, okay? Everything's in its proper spot. It's organized a bit. <laughs> And I ate. I ate. And there's no crumbs left, even. I would say. That f <laughs> Roomba is trying to get in here, I think. Hello, handsome. Fuck, I shouldn't have cut my fingernails. So, last night, I got home, well, yesterday, I got home at 5. I came home and I was like, <sighs> damn, I need a drink. I need a fucking beer. Yesterday just drained me. So I went to bed super early. I woke up early. I woke up at like 7. And I felt so good. I felt incredible. I went for a run. Pretty, my first good run. Pretty good. In like months honestly so that feels nice it also i just it sucks that i'm not a morning person because i love mornings i love the morning air i love how it's a little bit like cold and dewy i just i'm obsessed with it i, I and then i came home and i did a little workout and now i'm here to end this video because i am actually about to go on a trip my parents told me that they're taking me to disneyland <laughs> which is fucking, I cannot wait. I haven't even packed yet. I need to pack super quick. They said that all I need to take though is my straight jacket, lithium, and the gloves that make it so I can't scratch nobody. So, pack in light. But first, I wanna um, open this package. <laughs> As I said, I'm trying to optimize my wardrobe. So there's like a few basics in here. I think I have like, I got some like dress shoes because I need Whoa, I need new dress shoes. They're like some loafers. I might return them, I don't know. Ooh. Oh. Oh my god, wait. I think it's pebbled leather. No. No, it's not. Okay. I fucking hate pebbled leather. It'll be the death of me, I swear to god. Oh, these are actually- Oh my god, I love these buttons! I got this jacket thinking that it was black, and online I, I looked after I had purchased it, and it said that it was brown. But it seems to be- a very subtle brown. Look at these buttons though. They have like stars on them and little vines. Can you see that? Okay. 
I also really want to make clear, um, <laughs> I don't buy much stuff. I've been in a state the past couple of weeks where I've been spending so much fucking money. I don't know what's come over me. Spring is a time for new awakenings and new beginnings, and I just want to kind of elevate everything in my life. I feel like I've done a pretty good job of getting rid of things and donating things and filling my closet and my life with things that I actually need and I'll use. So before you comment calling me like a fucking capitalistic bitch, I just wanted to say that. These jeans are just car fart, light wash. I think they fit good. I'm not gonna try them on because I have to go. Ooh, these are nice, actually. Very chill. I like that they're dressy, but they're also a little bit sporty. <laughs> oh, also yesterday, I got more of my cologne. This is what I smell like, if you're curious. Because I know a couple of you freaks are. <laughs> so yeah, I have got to go. Thank you so much for watching. Do you hear that? Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Being able to do this is so much fun. I appreciate it more than you'll ever know. I'm probably gonna vlog next week too, so be prepared for that. Follow me on Instagram, join the book club, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.